Good morning, everyone. I'm excited to talk to you a little bit about the Erin Community Grant Program. This was the very first year. It launched earlier um, in 2019. Uh, and it was designed to provide financial grants and supportive initiatives that improve the overall internet industry and internet user environment. To be eligible for a grant, projects must align with Aaron's mission and fit into one of the three following broad categories, internet technical improvements that promote and facilitate the expansion, development, and growth of infrastructure of the internet consistent with the public interest, registry processes and technology improvements that maintain a globally consistent and highly usable internet numbers registry system, or informational outreach that advances the internet by covering topics like IPv6 deployment, internet research, or internet governance. And also projects must benefit the internet community within the Erin region. The grant selection committee consisted of five members, including Susan Hamlin, Michael Abuhela, Peter Harrison, Tina Morris, and Matthew Wilder. Thanks to each of you for your service on this committee. And the program was facilitated by me. In terms of evaluation, the Grant Selection Committee reviewed all the applications and made their recommendations based on the following selection criteria completeness, alignment with eligibility guidelines, relevance and reach, and the likelihood of success. And then after the Grant Selection Committee made their recommendations, the FinCom and Board of Trustees reviewed and approved these selections. A little bit of stats from the program. There were 23 applications this year, and as each applicant self-reported, there were three associations, 10 corporations, one LLC, and nine other organizations, two from Canada, 16 from the US, and five from outside the Aran region. 11 classified themselves as internet technical improvements, three as registry processes and technology improvements, and 16 as informational outreach. And projects sometimes identified themselves in more than one category. The total funding requested was over $350,000, and the average funding requested was about $15,000. There were four projects selected to receive a grant, and Aaron provided $44,500 in funding this year. I'd like to introduce you to the four projects that were selected for funding. They included DNS Open Source Tools Enhancement and Maintenance by DNS OARC, at $7,500. IB Physics Training for Enterprises by the Industry Network Technology Council at $20,000. The Cryptech Open Source Cryptography Project by Cryptech Stitching and LNET at $10,000. And the Global Nog Alliance Admin Tool by the Global Nog Alliance at $7,000. So congratulations to these first uh, Aaron Community Grant recipients. As far as reporting requirements go, um, each uh, recipient will uh, submit reports, one due in March of next year and one in September of 2020. And this will explain how the project met its objectives, how the funds were spent, the outcomes, the number of individuals reached, and how the internet industry benefited in the Aaron region. And each recipient will be encouraged to share their project results in a blog on Team Aaron and here at a Aaron Public Policy Members Meeting. Next year, you can expect to see updates to the program uh, based on the lessons learned from our first run. And we will be accepting applications starting in March 2020. If you know of a project that needs funding, is not for commercial gain, and benefits the internet community within the Aaron region, you are strongly encouraged to apply. Please let your friends and colleagues know as well. You can learn more about the program and apply on Aaron's website. Any questions? Any questions on the community grant program? Yes, far microphone. Hi. Chris Woodfield, Salesforce, Aaron AC. Um, so you said that 45,000 was the total amount granted in 2019. Um, 
According to the, according to the website, the, the budget for the grant program was $60,000, which suggests that there was 15,000 in unused funds. Is that a function of the fact that there were, and, and it doesn't seem like that's for lack of applications. Um, it's just a matter of applications that just didn't, right, didn't meet, meet, the bar to meet the bar in the grant committee's view, or there are other reasons that that $15,000 um, left, was left not unused? Well, basically the committee um, evaluated all the applications and um, made the decision to award funds to the projects that they felt would benefit the internet community the most in the Aaron region according to the selection criteria. So they, it was a purposeful decision. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Jennifer.